When I was a kid, I always wanted to be an entertainer. I started with Michael Jackson. Being young, I had the gloves, I had the shoes, I had the red jacket, I had the black jacket. And as I got older, it just went from, you know, my idol being Michael Jackson to my idol being Fresh Prince to my idol being NWA. But entertainment has always been something that I wanted to do music particular, you know, particularly. Um, it's always been a dream of mine. What type of dream did you have when you were younger? You know, what was that thing that you loved doing? And even as you got older, it really didn't change. What, what, what was that dream? You know, just sit back and ask yourself that for a moment. Um, now, ask yourself, you know, are you pursuing that dream? Are you reaching for it? Are you striving for it? Are you going for it? Irregardless of how many times you fail, it doesn't even matter because you have to fail in order to fail forward because failing forward is actually how you succeed. But are you going for that dream or have you abandoned it? Uh, Langston Hughes has, uh, has this poem, you know, he asks, what happens to a dream deferred, you know? Does it dry up like a raisin in the sun? You know, have you deferred your dream? Have you postponed your dream? Have you postponed it for kids? Have you postponed it for uh, the assaults, the daily assaults of life? Have, have, have the daily assaults of life caused you to propose your dream, to put it off, to put it on the back burner? Um, and the reason why I ask is because You can't put that dream off. You can't abandon it. You can't give up on it. Because when you give up on that dream, you ultimately give up on yourself. All of us have a purpose in this life. There's a reason why we're here. You know, some of us are dream supporters. Some of us are dreamers, you know. Irregardless of what it is, you have a purpose. Franz Fanon says, each generation must, out of relative obscurity, discover its mission, fulfill it, or betray it. Each generation must, out of relative obscurity, out of utter darkness, out of knowing nothing at all about life, about anything, about purpose, destiny, nothing, you must discover your mission, fulfill it, and betray it. That's our duty. That's your job. And if you don't know what your purpose is, then I'll advise you to look back at that dream, look back at that thing, look back at that, 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 that idea, those thoughts that give you the greatest joy, that, that, that bubbles up in here, you know, not merely here, but when you're doing that thing, you get all warm and fuzzy inside and it, 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 you're just happy, you know, you're bursting, you got life, you got energy. As you do it, you don't get tired, you know, you, you, you can do it all day long, you know, that could be a sign of what your purpose is you know now once you figure out this thing you got to chase it you got to grab it you got to you 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 you've got to get a hold to it because when you give up on that you give up on you the greatest part of you is when you can walk in your destiny fulfill your purpose and pour into other people to be a blessing to other people we ultimately can't bless others as we should unless we are the best that we can be. I have to be the best Gary that I can be. I can't be anybody else. I have to be the best me that I can be. And when I be the best me that I can be, then what I do is I pour into you. I inspire you. I motivate you. And you do the same. It's vice versa. So when you give up on that dream, you ultimately give up on yourself. There's a part of yourself that's dying, that's withered, you know, that you have on hold. And the world needs it. I need it. So whatever that dream is, wake up, chase that thing, you know. Uh, George Eliot, there's a quote by George Eliot. It says, it is never too late to be who you might have been. That's a very powerful quote. I'll say it again. It is never too late to be who you might have been. I'm gonna leave you with a story real quick. Um, 
at work, uh, I leave little, I have little quotes on my desk and I, I, I put them there, you know, to inspire people, to motivate people. I don't really have the time at work to, you know, to, to say a lot other than, you know, what consists, you know, what's based on work. So I put these little quotes down and hopefully a customer can read it and they can, you know, get a little glimmer of hope, a little glimmer of inspiration, you know, encouragement. Well, one day I was, you know, I was at my desk and this lady comes in. She looks at this quote and she she, she breaks into this, this, this huge grin. And I'm thinking, you know, okay, she's read the quote or she's about to tell me how great the quote is or, you know, something, something of that nature. No, she didn't. No, she lived the quote. She has lived the quote. She was living the quote. She was in the present, bringing it to fruition. She was 60 years old. She said, I have always wanted to go to law school. She said, I never did. You know, I was too busy raising my kids and then, you know, helping my kids and I was married and so on and so forth. And I just put it on the back burner. She said, but you know, that quote, that's me. I just got admitted to law school. She said, I might not become a, a lawyer, but I've always wanted to do it. And I'm gonna do it. It's a 60 year old lady who had lived her life. She raised kids, probably helped with grandkids, probably helped people in the neighborhood. And she postponed her dream. She put her dream off. And she helped other people encourage their dreams but she didn't forget about it. She eventually reached back and she grabbed hold of that thing. And now she's walking in destiny to fulfill her purpose. And she's an inspiration, you know. When you live your dream, you inspire others. That's why we, 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 we get so caught up in the lives of celebrities. We get caught up in the lives of celebrities simply because these people are doing something that we haven't done you know we have dreams and we haven't chased them these individuals have chased those dreams they have pursued those dreams they're going after them and they have become successful think about a celebrity that have that has pursued a dream and they failed michael jordan greatest basketball player in the world what he wanted to do was play baseball he pursued that dream he was not a success but it didn't take away from who he was. It actually made you respect him more because he was a guy who was successful in one area, but he still had a dream and he wanted to chase it. That's the amazement with celebrities. That's why we get so caught up in the celebrityism because these individuals are doing what we aren't doing, what we fear doing sometimes, you know? What I'll tell you is this, I'll leave you with this. Chase your dream. Chase your dream to become the best you that you can be, you know? You're going to inspire me. You're going to inspire others when you do that. You know, don't give up on your dream because ultimately you give up on yourself. People will never say, you know, yeah, I'm giving up on myself. But when you don't be the best you that you can be, that's what you've done. You've given up on yourself. You know, be the best you that you can be. Chase your dream because it's never too late to be who you might have been. Peace and love.